point of view, you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe even entrepreneur, and a summer is knocking at your door. It's like The Shining, but it's here's summer. I live here in Minnesota, as you can see, clearly Minnesota, and we live for the summers. They don't last very long here, so we pack everything into them. So summers, on top of school being out, is distinct and set apart for us. By the way, if this is your first video with me, hi, I'm Heather. I have two kids, Gracie who's eight and Oliver who is almost five. I also run a planner business called Sprouted Planner. These puppies are intentional, reflective, simple, and beautiful. And they're everything I wanted when I went through the hardest season in my life. So yeah, trying to run a business while kids are at home all day, every day for three months is gonna be a challenge. That's why I think planning ahead is crucial. That's what this video and video series is all about, planning your summer. I think anyone can take away great ideas and action items from these videos, but this is especially made for moms with dependents or parents with dependents. I also created some great freebie printables for you to grab in the link below to support your planning. So grab those from the link below and let's get started on the first of six action items to lay the groundwork for your intentional summer. Like Sparta Planners, setting your intentions will guide your next days, weeks, and months ahead. Action item number one, which is really just a reminder. And this reminder is as much for me, really, as it is for you. You are in control. I know that sounds so obvious, but it is a great reminder. You are the leader of your home and your day. You set schedules, boundaries, and rules. Not in an iron class fist way, but we can so easily let our days get taken over by our little dictators. I certainly have, but it just leads to chaos. So I need to often remind myself that I am in control. Reminder two, you set the mood. Our minis are little empathetic sponges. They will certainly pick up what you're putting down. Make sure you are filling your bucket and being intentional about the mood that you want to set for your day in your home. Reminder number three, it is not your job to entertain your kids all summer and make this the best summer ever. Nope. In fact, research shows that we are hovering and controlling our kids more than ever these days and it is to their detriment, along with way too much screen time. Kids need to play. That is their job. They learn and they relate through it, especially independent play. You have 500 other jobs that you need to do. While it's certainly important to play with your kids, it is not your only job and that is perfectly okay and it's actually necessary. Reminder four, less is more. Wherever you're at or whatever season you're in, remember less is more. Less activities, less toys, less hustle. Allow room for rest, play, and ease. Click like if you needed these reminders as much as I do. Action number two, reflect on last summer. If you have last year's planner, whip that thing out and look through it. What stands out, what worked, what didn't work. This will help set the stage for planning this upcoming summer. Action number three, identify your hopes for the summer. Just like inside, Sprout a planner, freehand write down what your hopes are for the summer. It can just be a few sentences, but this serves as awareness for your expectations of the summer and what you need to plan to give your hopes the best chance of them coming to fruition. Action four, decide the vibe and emotion. On your worksheet is a list of words. Circle two or maybe three words that you want to represent your summer. Action number five, decide what to avoid and what boundaries you need to set. With each new season, it brings new opportunities for something to annoy us and grind our gears. Is there anything that you need to set boundaries around or avoid? Maybe it's neighbors that are coming over way too often or crowded places make you too nervous. You might have to have hard but loving conversations with people around you to set those boundaries in place. Because summer is really short, but it's also really long to just grin and bear it. Action number six, decide your focus and hang it on your fridge. So using everything you've worked through up until this point, decide two or three things you want to focus on. Write it down on your principal and hang it on your fridge so that you and your family can see it every single day. Maybe this summer you'll be working on responsibility with your kids. Or maybe it's been an extra hard season and you just want to focus on ease. For me and my family, it will be you. First, learning about our brains and how to regulate emotion. I will be doing this using the Mind Up curriculum. Two, focus work and preparing for this fall launch for Sprout a Planner. And three, fixing up our yard. You have now set the groundwork for your summer. You have set your intentions for summer by reminding yourself that you are in control, you set the mood, you are not your children's sole entertainment, and less is more. 
You brain dumped your hopes for the summer and identified what you want the mood and the vibe to be. You also set boundaries that may be unique to summer and decided your top two to three focus and hung it on the fridge. You are now ready to set up your schedule for the week and day, which I'm covering in the next video. In the meantime, I would love to know what mood and vibes you are going for this summer. Definitely let me know those in the comments below. Thank you for spending your precious time watching this video and I will see you on the next one. So, crow. Film this out on the porch, I say. It's gonna be a great idea, great ambiance. I have a dead tree and washed out background and there's a crow crowing.